Hi everyone! The Lost Island Beta is finally over for the first group and we have been ported back in the, to our home zone. After the race ends, uh, you get one and a half day of uh, what they call season settlement period. During that period, you can continue to attack fortresses, you can continue to um, uh, attack plots, you can continue to PvP if you want to. Uh, however, none of them continue to give any points for you. Uh, the insects also reset. There's no more hornets, there's no more geckos, and, uh, and uh, other insects go back down to level 17 as a max. So uh, basically it's what we get at the start of season. Uh, pretty much everything the same other than level 17 uh, insects. Uh, once that's done, one and a half days, I guess it's time to say bye-bye to any friends that you've made on the island. Um, uh, and uh, everybody just go back to your home zone. So when you get back to your zone, there are a few things that happen. You'll get some rewards in the mail. Alright, the first, uh, ignoring all the colony actions that I haven't claimed yet. The first thing is you get a notification and it returns you your uh, T9s that were killed in Lost Island. They are automatically uh, added back to your um, uh, troop count. You get Island Pioneer um, in the season. So this one everybody gets uh, simply for taking part. So resources. Uh, and then uh, unfortunately it's just 5 advanced teleports. I, I believe most players will have spent more than that. The Crimson Fragger is important. Uh, if you have even played Island casually, you should be able to get the first copy of the Crimson Fragger. So this should give everybody at least a, a Crimson Fragger with uh, skill 6 unlocked. I'm going to claim that now. It tells you that the Lost Island event has finished. Uh, the clay and the resin and the Lost Island fruit disappear. Alright, everything else more or less has uh, been frozen also. And uh, the any power from Enhill Enhancement and Season and Soldiers will also disappear. Right. So I had a good amount of unused Enhancement Resin. Uh, I enhanced everything to the max already and then over the past, over the last week, uh, there was ex excess Resin. Alright, and uh, we have, we are basically back in our zone. Right, okay, let's just claim off my CA rewards. Under events, you get your honor rewards and your alliance occupation rewards. Alright, so I ranked 23rd in the season and uh, we get a chat box, some mutation stuff, speed ups, and resources. The higher rankers will get more stuff. And let's collect that. For Alliance Occupation Rewards, this one depends on uh, how many wonders that your Alliance completed or occupied at the final, um, uh, the final bell. So uh, we ended up with the Island Explorer 2. So, explore Lost Island Eggs. The Island Dominators will get better hatch rate on their eggs. And then uh, see us, uh, resources, resources, resources. Let's claim that. Alright, the quality of the pack also depends on what your rank is within your alliance. 
So the R5 and the officers will get uh, bigger packs <coughs> and, uh, and that decreases uh, down the alliance. What else have they said? Okay, some other things about dubbing. Okay, so if you go to the season troop camp, that hasn't disappeared either. Uh, but instead of seeing your um, season 11 troops and uh, so on, you can look at the record and you can see which alliances occupied which wonders. Right? You can also see the anthill power ranking. Power basically is who trains the most troops on uh, training day. And he'll kill ranking. Um, uh, yeah. And the and he'll kill ranking for the island number six. I don't do nearly enough PvP. So I'm ranked all the way down here. Come on, come on. The Anhue level ranking, when everybody's level 25, this is quite irrelevant. I don't know how they sort the level 25s from each other. Uh, honor ranking. Honor is really, really difficult to get. So even getting 100k honor, you can see from the entire island, only 16 people got 100k honor. Uh, what you need to do to get honor is occupy a lot of high level tiles and get them early. The earlier you get them, the more soldier ends. <coughs> Each, high, each higher level tau generates for you and you get uh, honor from the ownership of the tau as well as from the troops that were um, produced by the tau. So here I am, uh, ranked 23. All right. Alliance power, it's basically a summation of the power that you have within your alliance. I think if you look at this rank here and you look at the final outcome, um, uh, XOX, uh, Nightmare here, uh, occupied the tree as a final along with uh, three other wonders. Uh, Storm Riders from 47, here we had three wonders and Happy had three wonders. Uh, we ate up IMO's uh, wonder. Ta managed to get to keep their own. NDS kept their own. Cup kept their own, and uh, Toy Boys got uh, completely wiped out. All right. So it's not just about the raw power of the alliance. It means something, but at the same time, also not that much. Because you can have a very, very bloated alliance, a lot of players who just train a lot of troops but are not that active in playing the game, in organizing the um, uh, organizing fortress battles and expanding territory. Uh, versus if you have a very intense, uh, smaller alliance but everybody's churning their troops frequently, doing a lot of PvP so their power doesn't uh, increase that much, but spending off their troops rather than just training them infinitely. Alright. Alliance Q ranking. This shows uh, who was most aggressive. To be fair, I think IMO got most of their kills off us. Probably, yeah. Who else did they fight? I don't think they fought anybody else. 
No, I think they fought Ta. They went to fight Ta in the end. Uh, but XOX was um, very, very aggressive, so they have the highest kill. The independent kill ranking is also uh, significant. You can see some absolute beasts at the top over here. And then the alliance influence ranking. So uh, you can see which alliances really, really worked hard and pushed to... Uh, get more fortresses even if it makes other people unhappy you have to you uh, invade other alliances land in order to get ahead in terms of your influence right so that's basically results from the season troop camp okay so here we have got our hatch which is this lost explored lost island hatch. Uh, those who occupy the tree at the end will get the island dominator hatch. And uh, here you have, uh, we have sixteen eggs, and uh, from the first five hatches you get one guaranteed uh, season special end. So let's see what we get from sixteen eggs. Okay, it converts to a tertiary egg. Spore, spore, tertiary egg. Okay, this is the one guaranteed. Ruby slender, interesting. Okay. Okay, last one. Nope, and that's it. All right, the explored lost island hatch has got. If you get a orange end, it's always going to be a lost island end. However, the hatch rate is just two percent. Um, over here, lost island special end two percent. Uh, therefore. Uh, what I got just there, um, nothing basically, uh, just items, is only to be expected. <laughs> Alright, it at least gave me back a couple of um, tertiary eggs to use on uh, hatch day when that comes. Okay, so my haul from Lost Island... I got a uh, nimble tree and with a skill 6, this I would consider to be very very lucky. I got Crimson Fragger and we should be able to unlock that because of this redeem. Right, that was a fragment and then uh, let's see the Crimson Fragger. Yes, now there's a shell. Yes, I know I should be waiting for a special ND to do this, but never mind. Right, I can get that unlocked. I'll spend the spot on special ND. Uh, I got a grave digger on basically the second last day. Uh, just from just from the daily hatch, I had spent all my eggs already, and. Uh, Daily Hatch gave me one copy of that, so I'm I'm very pleased. And then uh, Ruby Slender was the one that I got uh, from the guarantee. The issue with just getting the end is that you need a second copy to unlock the skill 6, otherwise it will be, the, the number of troops will be more or less just half. So even if it's got really good skill 2, 5 and Eight, uh, by the sheer uh, lack of troops without the skill 6 it is not that great uh, an end uh, so as of this moment I'll consider Nimble Tree end here and Crimson Fragger uh, good results for me from the Lost Island Grave Digger and Ruby Slender are 
collections. Alright, so what do you get from your Lost Island trip? Hopefully you got nice good rewards and hopefully people are luckier than I am. Alright, so uh, for those who are still on the island, this is what to expect at the end of the event and uh, everybody will be heading back home soon to just do regular SVS. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day. Bye-bye! Oh yes, I forgot to put on the skins. Or rather the avatar and chat frame. Right. So that is the chat frame for the Lost Island. Let's activate that. I have the seven day long one. Oh well. I still have that and that and I haven't actually activated. Okay, and then I have the avatar frame. Uh and this is sixty days. Okay, what did that do? Use. Use. Alright, so other than activating, need to use it. Woohoo! Yep! And that's the result from Lost Island.